hello everyone uh, welcome back to the crm months so i hope you all are enjoyed in my last video how to integrate with the docusign uh, docusign uh, docusign integration with the microsoft dynamics crm so in the last session we discussed about the how to install and how to configure it so now in this session we are going to see how we can automate the sending the documents using the docusign api uh, using a dynamic 365 crm plugin okay so the prerequisites for this uh, docusign integration so the scenario I i'm going to explain in this video so i'm uh, i'm taking the opportunity entity so for the opportunity let's say i have uh, some documents if i attached in the uh, under notes so that i will read through my plugin and i will send for review process uh, who is a primary contact of that opportunity so that way i this is a one sample scenario i'm taking here and i'm I, I will explain that with the code so before going to that in the docusign so first we need to create a integration key so how we can create it let's see in our docusign first thing we have to log in with our docusign by using our uh, credentials so once you log into the your docusign account so then go to the your user icon click on the settings so then you can click on go to admin button here so once you click on that admin button uh, it will navigate to the admin page so in the your left hand side you can see here these all the different account settings we have so in that we will find a one more the option apis and keys here so we have to create a uh, here so here we can see integration integrator key so this integrator key so once you sign in here please log in so it will ask one more time for sign in the account so we have to enter our password again sorry so we have to sign in our account once you sign in it will show if you already what are the integration keys we have so it will show here so apis and keys so currently i have a two integrator keys i have created so if you want to create a new integrator key so i click on add integrator key and give that for the purpose of your application okay crm dev so it is not required if required any policies if you want to keep it that link for this integrator so you can keep these terms and condition what's the purpose of this use so we can keep it otherwise we can keep it as empty then click on add so here your integrator key will be added and if you want to after this uh, integrator key after authenticated if you want to keep it your new added uri we can keep we redirect uri you can keep it and if you want to give a, any security key okay so this will be authenticated by using a key so as of now uh, i'm not using that okay if required you can create your security keys and this key is based on only you can authenticate so once you click on save so this new integrator key will be created for you so this is a one so this key we can use it for your authentication purpose this web api authentication purpose we can use it okay like this we can create integrator key and uh, this integrator key we can configure it in our crm so what i did so for my crm customizations purpose so i have configured i have created a new entity okay so that entity uh, i'm showing it here 
So this is a custom entity I have created. Sorry, uh, let me go to the advanced find. Okay. So in the advanced find, I just created a here our DocuSign settings one one entity so actually here what are the integrations with this crm i am storing here in this record okay instead of hard coding the coded level that integration key and all so because i'm going to show this example right so in that example so whatever we have so here i am i am storing this one so let me go to the plugin and explain the how we have i have implemented so in the plugin how i am connecting to the docusign and sending the documents okay i hope everyone is aware of how to write the plugin so this is the plugin uh, we have re write it so this in the plugins so we are calling this uh, so basically from i have registered this plugin on an opportunity entity an update message so from the update whenever you update some flag kind of thing so then it, it will automatically send the mail to the uh, viewers so here uh, in the when you are starting here this is a target we are reading opportunity we are reading and i am using a pre-image also so because uh, an updation we won't get the whatever the uh, uh, world values so we'll get only what are the fields we have updated since we need a uh, approver a lookup okay that's a reason i am taking the pre image here okay printed images I'm, I'm i'm reading here so the main method in this code so sending a docker sign so in this code uh, so what I'm doing here in this uh, Seneca DocuSign method. So I'm I'm just reading the which is a from opportunity entity. I'm taking the customer. So he is the primary contact. So actually I'm sending the document for the primary contact. So that I'm reading to the here. And if the in the target primary is there, okay, in the primary contact is there, I'm I'm reading from the target. If not there, I'm taking from the pre-image okay so if the customer is okay is not null so then i'm reading this contact what is the full name what's the email address these fields i'm i'm reading from their uh, contact whatever the primary contact so then i'm taking the recipient name and recipient email address if the email address is is empty so then here itself i am stopping that process so the the primary contact should have a proper email address because if the email address is empty we should not able to send the docu sign to that people right so that's the reason here itself i am i'm stopping that process if it is not empty so then we am send i'm uh, i'm calling this one more method so i have uh, defined my docu sign helper class so inside that uh, actually we am calling this method so for this method inside the DocuSign, again we are calling here. So we are just checking so whether the sender, so that sender is nothing but a response that user. So here actually this configuration, so from the configuration, right, DocuSign entity, that configuration entity, we are reading this all the settings key, key values from here. So and we are reading mainly docusign user so who is the authenticating user docusign user so that user we are reading to the user entity reference object so next here so there is a method called here we have a docusign a method create a docusign record so inside of this docusign record what we are exactly we are doing so we are retrieving the DocuSign user and we are retrieving the whatever the uh, 
let's say we are passing a current entity id opportunity id i am retrieving this what the attachment we have so and we are adding a who is a signers so this important class we have here in the docusign api so signer so signer class will give us who we have to select it, who is the response a recipient name and who is the response uh, okay recipient email address so then we are adding a new signer here so in this signer whatever we have so then this what are the info we have declared here so here it's like a docusign sign info class we will get with the api so here we have to pass the info so for the docusign thing who is the account email address account docusign account password docusign account integration key docusign account url okay so login url you have to keep it what is the file name what is the document type so what the body document body we have to pass it here and we can add a okay signer we can add it to the here information finally we can add it to the information so then this uh, i'm passing this info to the docusign uh, request the docusign method so inside the doc request the docusign method actually we are reading and we are sending the document to the user so here we are taking the docusign url and here in the get uh, we are initializing the request okay so in the initializing the request here in this method okay so we are calling the actually actual http request we are consuming that docusign uh, api so once you uh, hit this api so it will requires the it will give the response to us okay it will be authenticated so your username and password you will be authenticated with the docusign and here once you get the docusign get body so we have to prepare a body here so these are all the docusign response body whatever the document we have signed it and all the things we can get it from here and in the below okay so here we have to prepare a what is a tabs so like a here we have to prepare a xml the signer so who are the signer we have a recipient email recipient name and where exactly the sign is required on the page okay so here on which page so in the document on which page you need this sign and here exactly on the what place you need the sign in sign button so then in the below all the things is done here in the email okay what the subject you want to need so what the subject is needed and what the email body okay if you want to specify your email body you can specify at the end this all the document name you can keep it and we can send the request so again initialize the request here so this request will go and it will create it and it will uh, send the uh, it will give the response body whether it is sent it or not whatever the thing so that result will by capturing this result so again we can go back uh, so here docusign the uh, docusign method so once you get the response out as a response result so in our crm we have to create a envelope status so be here this envelope status for the particular record so like a that the document is sent for the crm user so this envelope status will be uh, we can able to see in the docusign transaction okay there is an entity in our crm so docusign transaction record we are creating uh, let me show you a live demo okay and if you uh, before going to that you have to build this your plugin and you have to register wherever you want to trigger that select that triggering point okay so let me show you in the application how it will be sent through code so 
So let's say for this is an opportunity. I have a, I have attached the one document here. So in this attachment, if I go and I can modify anything, I have like a I am taking a plugin on the topic name change. So here if I click on a save any field. So in the background one plugin it will trigger on the post operation of the uh, opportunity update whatever the code previously we discussed right so that code it will be triggered and it will send the docusign to the user and in the background it will create a the docusign transaction one status record it will create it okay so now here one status record is created and if i go to the my docusign account and you can see here okay. so one document will be sent uh, to the user who are the owner of this opportunity okay so you can see right action required so under this one okay so there is a docusign is sent just now you can see right so it is sent now so once the user if you go and he can see the document whatever he was having so here what are the details if you have so you can sign it once the user is signed okay so by default the status okay this is a status like a whenever user is signed or thing this data will be synced to here if it is if we are using out of feature the automatically the status status will be synced here so since we are signing with the our code through the plugin this status it won't sync automatically so then we have to write a one scheduler and we have to sync from a docusign server to our crm server here this status we have to update it so once it is updated here so then we can mark it as a this opportunity status is uh, approval status is completed so that how we can send the uh, sync the data from a docusign environment to our crm environment that scheduler coding part i will explain in the next session okay uh, okay thank you all for watching this video okay thanks for your support so if you want any clarifications or if you want to need a source code please get in touch with us so we are happy to share this uh, details uh, whoever wants it